Yo, what's poppin', guys? How's it going? I am here to teach you guys the ultimate guide on how to get better at Rocket League. A lot of people ask me this question in my stream. Hey, man, I'm gold one. How can I get the plat? Or, hey, man, I'm plat. How do I get the diamond? Or, hey, man, you know, you, you're pretty good. Can you give me tips, anything like that? And, uh, you know, I, I like to give I like to give my chat some tips. Speaking of chat, if you guys want to hang out in my stream, I go live pretty much every day. Um, Twitch.tv slash smelljo underscore YT. So make sure you guys check your boy out. But yeah, you're here on how do I honestly, truthfully, how to get better at this game. And I'm about to tell you pretty much right now. So there's two parts to this game when you really think about it. There's two different types of skill to this game where you really think about it. You got your mechanical skill, right? And then you have your game sense skill. We're going to be talking about the mechanical skill since the game sense skill is probably going to be a whole different video. So make sure you guys check that out if you want to look at it. But we're going to be talking about your just absolute mechanical skill, which goes hand in hand with your game sense skill. So your mechanical skill is pretty much what you can do on your own and uh you know what 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 your your own personal skill when i think about mechanical skill i think about speed consistency uh can you read the ball and you know things of that nature uh really matter especially in the early stages of the game so if you're someone that's struggling in gold plat silver uh you know any of those categories um mechanical skill will greatly increase your your chances of winning a game and it will definitely help you all the way up to i would say about mid to high diamond and so your game sense skill is going to ha have to come into key and the reason why i say this is because a lot of uh, a lot of low rank players they don't know how to rotate they don't care to rotate so when you go inside of a real game inside of gold plat you know silver anywhere anywhere in that category no one's going to be rotating everyone's going to be chasing the ball no it is going to be no type of coordination in the game whatsoever so in my opinion i wouldn't even worry about game sense skill until you get to mid diamond and champing around there so honestly truthfully 100 percent no cap the only way not the only way but the best way in my personal opinion to level up your own mechanical skill is to go in training and literally hit the ball around as hard as you can as fast as you can as consistent as you can everything like that this will help you with a lot of fields in rock league um help you with your speed you know how, how how fast of a player you are which is very key especially in early game how fast of a player you are how consistent of a player you are how consistent are you at hitting the ball not missing the ball hitting the ball where you want the ball to go you know things of that nature are really 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 key this will help with you reading the ball you know uh learning where the ball is going to end up when it hits the wall you know what i mean things like that uh that's really really important uh for example let's just say somebody you know the ball gets hit at the wall there's two people there you got you and the enemy who's going to hit the ball first who's going to get the ball over the other person you know in that situation that situation happens a lot and it really all comes down to who's going to get there first who's who's most comfortable hitting the ball when the ball is going to be in the right spot and i see this happen all the time in lower rank games if the ball is in the air nobody goes for it and everybody just waits there until the ball starts dropping down into a comfortable spot where people are comfortable to actually go for the ball if you're not comfortable to go for the ball but your enemy is he's gonna hit the ball over you and that might lead to a goal you don't want that to happen with that being said you have to get comfortable with the mechanics of the game and you have to get comfortable with the ball and the only way to do that is to go into training hit the ball as hard as you can and just chase it literally chase the ball in training as much as you can don't give it any time no hesitation at hitting the ball no matter you know no matter if you don't hit it if you do hit it all it is is you're training okay so it don't it doesn't have to be perfect just try to hit the ball as hard as you can as fast as you can as many times as you can literally ball chase your ass off in training this will help you be faster you hit the ball more consistent this will help with your recoveries this will help with pretty much all of the basic mechanical moves that you need to be a better player because honestly at the end of the day if you're faster than your opponents you will open up more chances for you and your team to make more shots than them. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I helped you out. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you want me to help you out on any other type of mechanics in the game or what you can work on, in my personal opinion, just leave them down in the comments. I'll make a video on it, try my best. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that sub or Reno button, that follow Reno button. If this goes on TikTok, don't know yet. And uh, make sure you leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, bros.